So um, osteosarcoma, uh, the main reason that the, our patients died, it's because of pulmonary metastases, and these are, these are um, uh, what actually kills the patients. So immune therapy for osteosarcomas has shown some benefit and uh, in, in different aspects. So there has been treated uh, treatment that has been uh, delivered through cytokines, such as, for example, IL-2. We have studies where we deliver IL-2 uh, to, the, to the lungs. And the reason for it is because these, um, we have shown that immune cells go to, the, they go to the tumors. So then, but the problem is that they go and they leave. And one of the ways that you can help that those cells might maintain and stay within the tumor is just by uh, increasing their growth and proliferation. So one of the ways you do it is by, you know, giving one, some of these cytokines, which one of them is IL-2. And so, um, and, it sh we have studies and preclinical data that shows that it, it in, uh, allows these immune cells to, to stay. One of the problems of the immune cells is that, you know, the, these immune cells can express what, you know, one of these checkpoints, which is programmed as cell one, and if the tumor has these um, uh, uh, expression of these programmed as, uh, uh, you know, cell or ligand one, then what happens is that that restricts the ability of these cells to kill the tumors. And we're talking about all the immune cells. So we're talking about T cells, NK cells, and even macrophages. In our studies, we showed that if only by giving an antibody against anti-PD-1, you can actually have therapeutic benefit in osteosarcoma lung metastases. And it's just because blocking the pathway, the tumors express PDL1. But um, the fact that you know immune cells can express PD1 that limited their ability to kill the tumor, as I just mentioned. So by blocking the pathway, you activate those cells so they're able to do their job.